never again feel cheated when we die to, <laughs> to an iron bomber. Not that it's really a problem, you know, but I myself tended not to use this weapon because of that. I didn't like the idea that I was getting easier kills because of a buggy hitbox, you know. Today I want to play some demo man with the Iron Bomber. I already did this yesterday on my, my other channel with my Brazilian subscribers and had a, had a lot of fun and I wanted to repeat the experience today, you know. Because the Iron Bomber has finally been fixed, you know, in, in one of the last updates the, the game got the larger hitbox the pills the grenades from the iron bomber head were finally fixed and now i can play again with this weapon without you know feeling guilty <laughs> or or dirty because nothing against people who used to play with the iron bomber you know i i, I have nothing against any of you fellas you should all use the weapon you find the most fun to use really but I always felt a little bit a little bit guilty about using the the iron bomber because of the of the broken hitboxes. And here we have Uncle Leo with his costume. Very nice Uncle Leo, my friend. Pretty cool. But yeah, I always felt a bit guilty about using the iron bomber because of the unfair advantage it gave me, you know, with the with the larger hitbox. And I I, I actually personally prefer the the stock grenade launcher. I think that having grenades that stick to the ground, you know, that stop and don't roll too much can be useful sometimes, especially when you are not using a, a secondary weapon like I am doing right now. But in general, I think that the rolling capabilities of the stock grenades is something that is more useful, you know. Because you can really make that spam count and I'm usually a demo man that spends a lot of grenades and sticky bombs so I, I, I think I can make better use of the of the stock grenade launcher but I, I used to really like using the the iron bomber back in the day before we all knew it was a, a buggy weapon and gave an unfair advantage to whoever is using it you know, I really like using it in this sort of loadout when I am not using a, a sticky bomb launcher. I think it really shines in that scenario. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to fight scouts. Let's go back here. Oh no, there's a, a pumpkin bomb. <laughs> I knew I was gonna die to that pumpkin bomb. No problem. So yeah, I think the Iron Bomber is very good with uh, the stick jumper with shields, you know, with that sort of weapon. I know a lot of people make good use of it, of it with the sticky bomb launcher as well, or the quick bomb launcher even. And that's a fine way to play, but I prefer it in these types of loadouts. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Oh no, could not get out of here. <laughs> okay, my escape was not allowed there. Uncle Liu forbid me to escape. Very nice play, my friends. So yeah, what's your opinion, fellas, on the Iron Bomber? I saw some people online kind of sad that the weapon was finally fixed. The skeletons also got fixed, but I think my server is still using the, the old settings before the, the update, so that's why they appear kind of choppy. I probably have to adjust some sort of some sort of server variable or something like that, you know, some kvar, as they call, some console variable to make the skeletons be uh, smooth, you know, to have their animations played smoothly. But yeah, please let me know your opinions on this fix to the Iron Bomber. Do you think the weapon is now useless or dead? Do you think it is a crutch or it was a crutch, you know, because of the larger hitbox and now it will sort of lose its dominance? among demo men and this stock grenade launcher will go back to being used used more often especially in competitive settings you know i i don't think people who are used to playing with the iron bomber will go back to the to this stock grenade launcher because weapons are kind of like something you get used to and even if there is a, a better one around you you tend to sort of stick to what you, you know how to use. Ok, 
Okay, let, let's try to get this sniper here. Okay, no. I <laughs> could not do that. These scouts are paying too much attention there. The orange salesman. I Miga Tuga is staying there. I never play with the Iron Bomber because I don't have it. <laughs> then go look for it, try to craft it. It's a very good grenade launcher. It, it is a lot of fun to use. And Hov is saying, to be honest, I never use the Iron Bomber. I always use the Loose Cannon. It's very fun. Yeah, the Loose Cannon is a lot of fun, for sure. Hey, hello there. Also, Dark Knight there on chat saying Halloween came early this year. Yeah. This is one of the best maps of last year's Halloween. I really like it. You know, it's an excellent King of the Hill map. Okay, we got Spy here. Okay, <laughs> Spy. Spy has having some trouble with latency there because we are on an European server. I think he's also from Brazil. Where is Spy? Yeah, yeah, you are probably from Brazil with 800 ping there. <laughs> I wish, I wish your internet connection gets better there, Spy. So you can play properly. It, it is always a bummer to play with high latency. Uh, especially latency as high as that. Not that high latency is something bad, you know, in of itself. I think that what harms connections more is not latency, but when the connection keeps dropping, you know. Because you can get used to a very consistent high latency. Not so high, of course, but about about 200 something it is playable if your connection is stable enough so so yeah i dr kebab saying there i mostly play with it the iron bomber because i'm used to it since uh since before i heard about the hitbox yeah you know when it came out when the iron bomber came out i i remember a lot of people talking about it like it seems it is easier to hit these grenades, you know, and I remember, at least here in Brazil, people speculating that it was because the projectiles are completely round and then perhaps, you know, the grenade tumbles in a different way in the air or something like that and that makes it easier to hit the projectiles, you know. We, we were trying to figure it out, but now we, we know of that there was a bug and now it got fixed. But I, I really like it as well. The loose cannon that Hovi was saying earlier is a lot of fun as well. But I think it is not as versatile. It kind of fits into a, a different role. Because I think the Iron Bomber is a, a good all-around alternative to the, the stock grenade launcher. It works differently, but it is a, a good option to, to use, you know, to be a bit more versatile. I feel like the other grenade launchers, for example, the loose cannon and the lock and load, are more specialized. And when you you decide to, to go with them, uh, you, you got the ammo, I needed the ammo. <laughs> Orange salesman, it's okay. Let's go with, with melee, Let, let's try to do... Ah, there's a bunch of ammo packs here, nice, okay. I managed to, to secure the, the point, okay, that's also nice, pretty good. Let's let's place some grenades on the ground. You see, that's what I mean. It is good for when you are not using the sticky bomb launcher. I can kind of set temporary traps with these grenades and try to keep especially scouts uh, at bay, you know. So that helps a, a little bit. I know it is better if you can actually hit <laughs> the grenades directly, but I'm not that sort of player. I, I am I am rubbish. So I, I tend to to use all the, the tricks I can to to make myself survive a bit longer. So yeah. But yeah, demo man now has uh, has good options I think, and making the the hitbox more accurate is better for everyone. For those people playing demo man and also playing against demo man. We'll never again feel cheated when we die to, <laughs> to an Iron Bomber. Not that it's really a problem, you know, but I myself tended not to use this weapon because of that. I didn't like the idea that I was getting easier kills because of a buggy hitbox, oh, you know. Kind of like of a dumb thing to do, you know, in, actually, because I would benefit more of using this weapon, but I don't know, I'm, I am, I'm worried. Okay, let's try to get Ancolio there, could not get the grenades, I think I'll try jumping, let's do this. I have the, the jumper, 
exactly to try and do this, but uh, yeah, did not pay off. Okay. <laughs> and Misa is here. Hello there, Misa. Always nice to have you here on streams. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 